بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم نو وی آر اسٹارٹنگ چیپٹر نمبر ٹو آف فزکس آف کلاس ٹین دا نیم آف دا چیپٹر از میئرمنٹ میئرمنٹ از دا کامن پریکٹس آف ایوری ڈے لائف سو اکارڈنگ ٹو دا ڈیفینیشن آف میئرمنٹ دا کمپیریزن آف دا کوانٹٹی ود ادر کوانٹٹی از نون ایز میئرمنٹ دس از دا ڈیفینیشن آف میئرمنٹ نو وی ایکسپلین اٹ ود فیو ایگزامپلس آف ایوری ڈے لائف دا فرسٹ ایگزامپل از شاپ کیپر اینڈ کسٹمر اف ون گوز ٹو اے شاپ ٹو پرچیز شوگر دا شاپ کیپر ول وی دا ریکوائرڈ اماؤنٹ آف شوگر by his common balance and will hand over it to the purchaser another example to purchase cloth one goes to sh- to the shop and the <coughs> shopkeeper will measure the required length of the cloth by his meter scale graduated in centimeters another example Our measurement is the student in a school. If a school student goes to his laboratory to perform experiments, he may be asked the laboratory in charge to find the thickness of a thin glass slab, the radius of the curvature of a lens or density of a metal block, so on and so forth. The student will use the measuring devices suiting his experiments. For example, to measure the length of the rod in the laboratory, we use the scale graduated in centimeters. This is the definition of measurement with few examples. explain it with few examples now our next topic is physical quantities physical quantities Phys- um, before i start the topic of physical quantities first we have to ex- understand the top me uh, word quantities quantities generally consist of two types one is called non physical and second one is called physical quantity non physical quantity and physical quantity we can explain it or define it non physical quantity is that quantity in which we cannot touch it for example sadness happiness we can feel that quantity we can not measure it or touch it happiness and sadness happiness and sadness and the other type the physical quantity physical quantities are those quantities which we can measure and we can touch it that quantities are called physical quantities now we are starting our new topic that is physical quantities physical quantities physical quantities have two parts Uh, phys- or we can say that physical quantity consists of two parts first part is size or magnitude and the second part is unit we can explain these two parts with few examples for example 
mass of rice that is equal to 40 kg another example for example time time is equal to 10 minutes in the in these two examples kg and minutes are called units and 10 and 40 or called size or magnitude so a quantity mass is a quantity physical quantity time is a physical quantity for example mass of a rice 40 kg 40 is the size or magnitude and kg is the unit of mass minutes is the unit of time so time mass and times are physical quantities and kg and minutes are their units physical quantities scientists scientists have divided all physical quantities into two groups number 1 basic quantities or fundamental and the second quantity is called drive quantities so basic quantities physical quantities can be categorized into two groups number 1 is called basic quantities or fundamental quantities and number 2 drive quantities basic or fundamental quantities consist of seven quantities and that quantity seven quantities are time length mass amount of substance temperature thermodynamic temperature electric current luminous intensity so these are the seven basic these seven are called basic or fundamental quantities the drive quantities those quantities which we are driving drive by these basic quantities for example speed volume force pressure work charge and so on these are called drive quantities now and the units of these quantities the units of basic quantities or fundamental quantities are called fundamental units 
and the units of drive quantities are called drive units. For example, the unit of time is second. So second is called fundamental unit. Length, the unit of length is meter. So meter is called basic or fundamental unit. Mass, the unit of mass is kg. So kg is called basic, basic unit. For example, speed, the unit of speed is meter per second. So this is called drive unit. A set of fundamental and drive unit is known as system of units. System of units. A set of fundamental and drive units is known as system of units. There are three system of units being used in scientific, scientific work. Number one. First system is called CGS. CGS system. CGS means centimeter gram second. This is called CGS system. Number two. Second one is SI. SI system. International system of units is abbreviated as SI from the French the system international D units. In this system, seven quantity has been accepted as the fundamental quantities. Seven quantities. So SI system, system international based on seven quantity, basic quantities or fundamental quantities. They are length, mass, time, time, length, mass, amount of substance, temperature, that these are seven quantities, which is called SI system. And the next system is British engineering system. Number three is British Engineering System. British Engineering System is an old system. In this system, fundamental quantities are length, force, and time. Length force and time in british news system fundamental quantities are length force and time note that in this system mass is is a drive quantity and it is unit is derived from the force unit Pound and is called slag, sledge. Nowadays, SI units are used throughout the world. So we define base units of the system. So, system of units, these are the three system of units. Number one, CGS system. Number two, SI system. Number three, British engineering system. In these days, we are using this system, SI system, in which seven are the base quantities. Now we are starting our new topic, that is measuring instruments.
whenever uh, we prepare to perform an experiment in a lab laboratory first of all we choose a suitable instrument to measure the physical quantity this physical quantity may be length a mass or a duration of an interval now we'll describe few of such instruments number 1 in the instrument is vernier calipers a meter stick this is vernier caliper a meter st stick is graduated in millimeters hence it can measure a distance of to 1 mm a vernier caliper consists of a rectangular steel bar whose one side is graduated in millimeters this scale is known as main scale this scale is known as main scale a small scale usually consist of 10 divisions 10 divisions which slide over the main scale is known as vernier scale slide over vernier scale so this is called main scale and this is vernier scale the instrument has two jaws two jaws called calipers these are called calipers which enables it to measure the in, in, internal as well as external diameter of cylinder cylindrical objects so this is a vernier caliper these are called jaws and this is called outside jaws and these are called inside jaws now in vernier caliper calipers is one of such instrument that can be used to measure a distance up to 0.05 mm mm now vernier constant and or least count vernier constant or least count is the minimum distance that can be measured with the help of vernier calipers this is a formula to find the value of least count value of the smallest division on main scale divided by total numbers of division on the vernier scale so 1 mm divided by 10 that is equal to 0.5 mm and we if we convert in centimeter that is equal to 0.01 cm our next instrument is micrometer screw gauge this is micrometer screw gauge this is micrometer screw gauge A micrometer screw gauge consists of U-shaped solid 
मेटल फ्रेम यू शेप सॉलिड मेटल फ्रेम एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड मेन स्केल दिस इज कॉल्ड मेन स्केल एंड दिस इज कॉल्ड वर्नियर स्केल and this is called spindle and this is called sleeves this is called thimble and this is called ratchet ratchet this is called ratchet now ab बने कैलिपर कैन मेजर अप टू वन अपॉन हंड्रेड और वन अपॉन टू हंड्रेड और सेंटीमीटर नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड द पिच ऑफ स्क्रू गेज वट इज वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ पिच और डेफिनेशन ऑफ पिच इट इज द डिस्टेंस इट इज द डिस्टेंस between the two consecutive threads of the linear screw so this is the definition of pitch how can we find the least count of screw gauge so least count of screw gauge is equal to pitch of the screw divided by number of deviations on the circular scale so these are the number of deviation of screw gauge circular scale so this is called circular scale and this is called main scale now least count is equal to 1 mm divided by 100 that is equal to 0.05 mm mm and is equal to 0.001 cm so the least count of screw gauge is equal to 0.001 cm and the least count of vernier calipers is equal to 0.01 cm now for next measuring instrument is physical balance this is a device commonly used to find the mass of an object so this is a uh, measuring instrument we can measure mass of an object now next instrument is stopwatch stopwatch is used to measure time interval or instantaneous time to measure time and to find the instant time we use a wrist watch or a clock and to keep its long, uh, record we use a special watch known as a stopwatch so our next instrument is measuring cylinder so this is called measuring cylinder it is a glass cylinder which is a scale measured in cubic centimeters or milliliter or milliliter cubic centimeter or milliliter it is used to find the volume of a liquid it is used to find volume of a liquid when a liquid is poured it rises to a certain height in the cylinder this level level of liquid in the cylinder is noted and the volume of liquid is obtained so these are the instruments measuring instruments number 1 is 
बनी कैले पर नंबर टू माइक्रो स्क्रू गेज माइक्रोमीटर स्क्रू गेज नंबर थ्री फिजिकल बैलेंस नंबर फोर स्टॉप वॉच एंड नंबर फाइव मेजरिंग सिलेंडर नाउ वी आर सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर टू फर्स्ट नोट डाउन द डेटा ऑफ द क्वेश्चन अकॉर्डिंग टू डेटा ऑफ द क्वेश्चन मास इज गिवेन मास इन किलोग्राम मास इन किलोग्राम इज इक्वल टू मास इज गिवेन नाइन पॉइंट वन वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय टेन रेस टू पावर माइनस थर्टी वन के जी नो वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दिस मास इन मास इन ग्राम सेकेंड मास इन मिलीग्राम नंबर थ्री मास इन माइक्रोग्राम दिस इज डेट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन नाउ वी वी आर कन्वर्टिंग दिस मास इन ग्राम मिलीग्राम एंड माइक्रोग्राम एज वी नो दैट सिंस वन के जी इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड ग्राम सो मास इन ग्राम इज इक्वल टू The given mass is nine point one one multiplied by ten raised to power minus thirty one multiplied by ten raised to power three, and this this unit convert into gram. So nine point one one multiplied by we add these two powers minus thirty one plus three. and that is equal to 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 28 and this is the weight in gram number 2 we have to convert the mass in milligram since 1 kg is equal to 10 raised to the power 6 milligram so the weight is 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 31 multiplied by 10 raised to power 6 milligram so 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 31 plus 6 is equal to 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 25 milligram 
This is the second answer. No. Conversion in microgram. Mass in microgram. Since one kg is equal to ten raised to power nine microgram. So the weight nine point one one multiplied by minus raised to power minus thirty one multiplied by ten raised to power nine microgram. So this is equal to 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to power minus 31 plus 9 and this is equal to 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 22 microgram. This is the third answer. So this is question number 2. Now we have to solve question number four of book. The question number four is the time taken by an electron to complete one rotation about its nucleus is 0 0.5 multiply 10 raised to power minus 18 second converted into minutes, hours and microsecond. Now first we write down the data of the question. Time of rotation of nucleus is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied 10 raised to power minus 18 second it is given now we have to convert in minutes time in hours time in microsecond now part number one time in minutes time is given in second that is 0 0.5 multiplied 10 raised to power minus 18 divided by 60. Divide by 60 to convert the time in minutes. Now 0 0.5 divided by 60. If we divide 0 0.5 divided by divide 60, the answer is 0 0.008. Three multiply by ten raised to power minus eighteen minutes. Now in scientific relation for point goes to right hand side this place. So we can write eight point three 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 multiply ten raised to power one two. 1, 2, 3, 10 raised power minus 3 because we are going on the right hand side. That is minus 18 minutes by adding these two powers 8.33 multiply with 10 raised power minus 3 and minus 18. That is equal to minus 21 minutes. The answer of first part. Now we have to convert in hours time in hours is equal to 0 0.5 multiply 10 raised to minus 18 divided by 60 multiply by 60 we are dividing 60 dividing by 60 multiply by 60 because we have to convert the time from mil seconds to hour. So we divide, divide by 60, multiply by 60. That is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied minus 18 divided by 3600. That is equal to 
ज़ीरो पॉइंट ज़ीरो 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 वन थ्री एट एट मल्टीप्लाई टेन पावर माइनस एटीन आवर्स एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट गोज टू राइट एंड साइड ऑन दिस प्लेस सो वन टू थ्री फोर वन पॉइंट थ्री एट एट मल्टीप्लाई टेन रेज पावर माइनस फोर मल्टीप्लाई टेन पावर एटीन आवर्स सो दिस इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट थ्री एट एट मल्टीप्लाई टेन रेज पावर माइनस ट्वेंटी टू आवर्स दिस इज आंसर ऑफ सेकेंड पार्ट नाउ वी आर सॉल्विंग third part of the question we have to convert the time in second into nano microsecond time in microsecond is equal to 0.5 multiply 10 raised to power minus 18 multiply by 10 power 6 microsecond that is equal to 0.5 पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन रेज पावर माइनस एटीन प्लस सिक्स माइक्रोसेकेंड एंड दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई टेन रेज पावर माइनस ट्वेल्व माइक्रोसेकेंड दैट इज आंसर ऑफ थर्ड पार्ट नाउ This is your homework. You have to write in your notebook the answers of these questions. Question number one: Define fundamental and drive units. Question number two: Write the names of seven fundamental units and seven drive units with their symbols. Question number three: Define the following. Number one measurement. Number two unit. Number three system of units. Number four meter. Number five kilogram. Number six second. And in the last, on page number thirty one, solve the question number two, three, and four. As I solve the question number two and four. You have to solve the question number three, and the example of 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 this chapter from your book. You have to practice the examples. You have to write only question number two, three, four in your notebook as a heading of numericals. Now. how can you write the answers in your notebook question number 1 fundamental and drive units to measure physical quantities we used a setting units so the units to express fundamental quantities are known as fundamental units and the units used to express the physical quantities that they are drive drive from fundamental units are called drive units note that the answers of these questions mostly in your book 
सी द आंसर्स एंड मोस्टली द आंसर्स इन योर बुक क्वेश्चन नंबर टू राइट द नेम्स ऑफ सेवन फंडामेंटल यूनिट्स एंड सेवन ड्राइव यूनिट्स यू हैव टू राइट द आंसर्स एज अ टेबल ऑफ दिस दिस टेबल इज ए ऑन बुक पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन टेबल नंबर टू पॉइंट वन यू हैव टू राइट द टेबल इन योर बुक दिस टेबल इज इन योर बुक पेज नंबर सिक्सटीन यू हैव टू राइट द टेबल फ्रॉम योर बुक नाउ नेक्स्ट now the remaining part of question number 2 the table number 2 some drive units this table is on on your book page number 17 speed acceleration volume force pressure work charge these are seven drive quantities and the units are meter per second meter per second square speed meter per second acceleration meter per second square volume meter cube force newton pressure pascal work joule charge coulomb so these are the seven drive units uh, quantities with their units this is a table number table on your page number 17 now next question is 3 question number 3 is define the following measurement these are answer on your book read the chapter number 2 com- thoroughly you have to read the tables on your book and the uh, some units question number 2 measurement the comparison of the quantity with other quantity is known as measurement measurement of a quantity measurement of a quantity requires units in which it can express this is the definition of measurement unit number 2 a reference value of a quantity used to express other values of same quantity is known as unit this is the definitions of unit now definition number 3 definition number 3 is system of units a system consisting of seven base units known as international system of units it is abbreviated as s dot i meter definition of meter the meter is the length of the path traveled by light in vacuum during a time interval of 1 upon 1 divided by 2997924584 of a second this is also written in your book see the topic of meter and write the definition from your book and kilogram and second definition of kilogram 1 kilogram is the mass of a platinum iridium alloy cylinder which is kept at the international bureau of weights and measures in sevres near paris next definition is second a second is defined to be exactly equal to the time interval of 9196373170 vibrations of atom of cesium 133 this is the definition of second 